I'm Russ. Hi. That, I know. You're like, we know. <laughs> Don't make that a thing, please. Let me have that. What? That's my butt. I'm sorry. Once again, we're attempting to get a poster, and so we're trying to get this cool image of the audience because the audience is what matters here, which probably means I should probably be over here because they're all over here. Now I'm standing in front of him. Okay. Why am I letting you direct? What do you want to do? He doesn't care. All right. It's like being backed up by Sauron, I gotta tell you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ignore, I'm now going to ignore the man behind the curtain and get on with the show. You guys ready? Yeah. Truth. We were off to see the wizard at about five o'clock and then we started drinking and pfft, yeah. Truthfully, it's, you know, the time of year there's that meme that's running around that's, you know, what am I thankful for and everybody makes a big list. And my life is, is awesome. In the words of one of my best friends, my life is ass. Beep that, please. But my life, my life really is uh, amazing. And it's full of awesome people like you guys. And it's full of circus. And it's magical. And I was going to come up here and I was just going to rant out all of this like, cool stuff that I'm thankful for. And I am thankful for it. But I'm also really pissed off right now. And so I was hoping I could vent something and share an experience that happened to me that I, I need to get off my chest, otherwise we're never gonna make it through this evening because it's gonna be in the back of my head all night. Is that cool? Yeah. Good, because I was gonna do it anyway. But I like you to feel involved. I, I, I look like this most of the time when I'm working. Some variation of, of dressed up and stupid. And maybe once a week I manage to be in normal clothes out in the world doing something like grocery shop. I was running errands and I walked into a store, I had ordered something to be delivered to the store, how convenient, I walked in, and it was cold, winter, it got here like, <laughs> hello winter, and I walked in, in my coat and my hat, I was freezing, and my hands were in my pockets, and honestly, my head was somewhere else, and I walked up to the counter, and the woman behind the counter looked at me, and she changed my life in one second, because she was afraid of me. I knew it. I can make a lot of excuses for it. I can make a lot of, well, it was probably because of X, Y, and Z. Doesn't matter. For one second, I scared the hell out of someone just by my physical presence. And you gotta understand, you new, new guy, you don't know this, but I'm a clown, I, I'm a performer, I work with kids, I work with troubled kids. My job is to basically make you comfortable. I know you're not right now, but I'm working on it, I swear. But I made her not just uncomfortable, I made her afraid for that long. My whole life stopped because I had failed in that moment. And I can analyze why, and I can come up with reasons why, but I know this. I screwed up because I didn't smile. Maybe my eye contact wasn't good. Maybe my head was somewhere else because it's the holidays, and the holidays are a pain. They're like a meat grinder. It's all in my head. But I did. I scared her. And I've been thinking about it ever since. It happened Sunday. I've been thinking about it since, and I said I have to come up here and talk about it something I've said more than once, something we've driven home many times, this is a place where people feel safe. We feel safe to be stupid, to wear big baggy pants and funny hats and, and create legend and story and song and dance. And I screwed up because I didn't take it with me on my day off. The thing I tell you guys to do all the time, the one thing I hope you do is you gather up some of the magic that happens here and take it out in the world, and I screwed up. Well, first of all, I don't know if I can, I did my best to make that moment better. I said, I'm sorry, and you know, hey, I know I scared you, but it's just a clown. But it didn't, it didn't get better until we told some jokes, and then it was funny, and it was fine. But I'm going to work really hard. This is like my, maybe this is my resolution. I'm going to work really hard that when I'm not up here, I'm still this guy. Because this guy, no one seems to be afraid of. You guys don't seem afraid of me now, and I'm standing on a big stage. I got a microphone in my head. I got cameras. I got lights. Must be somebody real important. I'm nobody. I'm some guy who took this job because it was the right job to take because someone had to do it and this was worth standing up for. And in a split second, I messed up because I wasn't this guy somewhere else. I will never, ever, ever let that happen again. I want to say thank you for teaching me how important this place is so I could have that moment of clarity out in the world and I could work to be a better person. I learned it here on Monday nights at the open stage. Welcome.